Saints lose to the Texans 20 to 13. And I'm shocked because I genuinely thought at some point we were a better team than the Texans, but they're also sporting a top 10 quarterback and we're not. I think I can even say right now that D'Amico Ryans as a rookie defensive minded head coach is coaching better than Dennis Allen. And I'd like to lean off that and say no, but let's just be really is. We're at the mercy of Dennis Allen. We're at the mercy of Pete Carmichael. We've talked about it all year. But the reason I'm not shocked is we, we didn't learn anything different about this Saints team. The Saints are still who they are. You're missing kicks, which Blake Groupie and Lou Headley, I love the stories, but Jesus Christ, just what a horrible special team signing at this point in the year. You got a bad O-line, which by the way, no Ram check tomorrow, no Landon Young tomorrow. Of course, Andrews Pete not being healthy as well. I believe no James Hurts tomorrow as well. You got an average quarterback in Derek Carr, which Derek Carr is what he is. I said it when we traded for him or when we signed him. The team that drafted Derek Carr and knew him the best cut him. They moved off of him. No collateral. We want you off the team. We don't want to pay you the money. Zach Bond, thankfully, gets an interception. That's like the one positive takeaway is, yay, we forced an interception on C.J. Stroud just to have Zach Bond, a linebacker that, Where's Jalen Smith? That's all I'll say. A linebacker fumbling interceptions. I mean, Zach Bond has not touched a football a lot in his career, so of course he's, he's you know, going to fumble that away. I mean, come on. The suspect play calling from the Saints, getting gashed up in the first half. I mean, where was the defense? The defense was literally dying on the field, it felt like. They were disappearing in this game. Over 100 yards rushing in the first half allowed to the Texans. And then we... we it's not even like we could really be major sellers at the trade deadline. We've got bad veteran contracts. Nobody wants Ramchek's contract. Nobody wants Camara's contract. Nobody wants Lattimore's contract. Nobody wants Michael Thomas. Maybe Michael Thomas's contract. But hell, I feel like even we're paying him too much. Now, I love his production this year. But I didn't learn anything new about the Saints team other than the fact that we relaxed because we got a blowout win. Pete Carmichael was like, oh, 34 points. Oh, I'm good. I'm chilling. I don't have to draw up another offensive game plan. Well, that's not true, Pete Carmichael, because the way I'm not even, no, I'm not even going to sit here and get mad about it because I've done it two, three, four times this year. And again, I know what this Saints team is. But Pete Carmichael was like, all right, cool. 34 nothing. I'm out. <laughs> oh, outside that game, the Saints would not have more than like six or seven touchdowns on the year. You know, Raheem Mostert has more touchdowns than the entire New Orleans Saints team. <laughs> the Saints just don't score. And I think the one stat from this game that really sticks with me, Derek Carr throws 50 passes over 350 yards just to put up 13 points and lose. A week after having the least amount of pass attempts on the season against a defense that we blew out 34 to nothing in the New England Patriots on the road. So I'm sure Pete's train of thought was, oh, okay. Well, we won't have him pass a lot against a good defense because I know, or at least he has respect for that Bella checking in defense. But we're going to have you air it out 50 times on the road. <laughs> 50 times. So most passes Derek Carr's thrown all year, and he's two weeks really removed, three weeks removed, I, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, because of the Green Bay game. Three weeks removed from that AC sprain. And again, it was just a sprain. Clearly, he played through it. But the week after, he should not have played through it. The week after that, he has his least amount of touch, or excuse me, least amount of pass attempts. And we do great. And then this week, come in and lose this game to the Texans in a fashion that, you know, just continues to feel unacceptable. You hold C.J. Stroud, a good quarterback right now, a top 10 quarterback right now. You have him throw his first career interception. You hold the Texans to 20 points on the road. And you're giving me 13. You're giving me 13 points, which am I shocked? No, it's just what the hell this Saints team does. We're averaging 15 points per game. We are literally the Denver Broncos of last year. With a better team, a healthy Olave, a Shahid that's incorporated, healthy Camara, a healthy Mike Thomas, Carl Granderson is balling out, Brian Bassi is balling out. Nobody has a lower passer rating allowed by the Saints defense. And this is what the Saints are performing to. 
13 points per game with all of this talent. It's just, it's, it's horrible. Dennis Allen is now 20 games below 500 in his career. That's just what the Saints are. They're a three and three football team, but you could really say that they're playing like they're one and five or even two and four. And there's just, I mean, nothing more you can really say about the Saints team. I mean, they're going to play close games. Another closely contested game yet again, playing down to their competition because that's what the Saints always do. The offense are still extremely underwhelming. There's a lack of consistency here. There is no creativity. You see the last four plays of the game? Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid. The receivers seem like they didn't understand this play. You even see Thomas and Olave possibly trying to get a timeout to understand the play better. And we run the same play four straight times. Basically, four corner end zone shots down the sideline. And in a way, I respect it because you have to get a touchdown and why not go for the zone when you have the talent to do so? But the same four play draw-ups? Like, it's almost like the Saints weren't even familiar with those play calls at the end of the game. Bad in the red zone again. 0 for 3 in the red zone. The Saints got outgained 430 to 297 by a Texans team. And they had way more opportunities than you would think. Now, of course, Alvin Kamara still comes out, sees 80% of the snaps in the game, 19 carries, 68 yards. He was also targeted on for 36 yards as well, of course, receiving on the ground. Rashid Shahid, of course, makes a good catch in this game. I I love Rashid Shahid. I have no complaints about him. I'm glad we finally found our big play guy next to Chris Olave, kind of like our our little Tyreek Hiller if Chris Olave was, you know, really over that. And... I mean, you you kick the game off with a 52-yard field goal missed by Blake Groupie. You fumble an interception by Zach Bond. And then Dalton Schultz, they turn around, get the ball back, new set of downs, first touchdown of the day. And that really set the tone for how the game was going to go. No shocker, seven penalties, 84 yards. The Saints take a step forward, and then Dennis Allen was like, all right, we're getting too good now. I got to return back, return back to my Vegas self. 18 and 41 as a head coach. And this is where the Saints will be until the Saints move on from Dennis Allen until the Saints at least fire Pete Carmichael and move D.A. back to the defensive coordinator position. This is where the Saints will be. You could even argue you'd rather be a team committed to the rebuild so you know what's coming ahead in kind of a ignorance is bliss way because it could turn into something great. But the The fans in the city of New Orleans know what the hell the Saints are now. They're an average football team. They're an average football team that I willingly spent my money on to go tomorrow to New Orleans, Thursday, October 19th, 2023, to go down there for a Jaguars game, very injured, to watch us play. But that's how much I love this team. I'm not going to shy away from my Saints giving my honest takes on them and telling you what they are. But they could have easily walked away with a win in this game. You stink it up. You let Baker Mayfield dice you up at home. And then you just, you you, you melt. Dennis Allen maybe should have been gone after that Packers game. And, I mean, that's all you can say about it. Derek Carr is what he is. Pete Carmichael is what he is. You've got missed opportunities. You've got a bad O-line. You've got... Average suspect play calling, bad veteran contracts. I mean, this is what the Saints are. And Saints fans, strap in if you want, because this is what it is. We're probably going to go on to another 9-11 to win season, maybe 8-10, to knowing how we're playing right now. Fight for a bad division and probably lose in the wild card. Maybe make it to the divisional and I'll get excited for no reason. And I hate to talk this way about my team but I have to call a spade a spade. I got to call a Florida Lee a Florida Lee. I got to call it what it is. The Saints are an average football team. They're three and three. You can argue they should be one and five or two and four potentially with the way they're playing, but they without question have the effort to be four and two, if not five and one. But the quarterback, the offensive coordinator, and the head coach are all lullabying together. And we know what they are. (laughs) We know what they're bringing to the table. And uh, it's not scaring anybody, and it's not impressing anybody. 